Hi guys, it is December 20, 2018. Glowing sky plume spotted in California, Chico, California at 5.35 p.m. today. What is this? Who knows? Uh, this was over Chico. I see so many strange things in the sky here in Anderson, South Carolina, that it doesn't even look strange to me. Now, do you see this very bizarre pink roll cloud with black coming off it? Your sky in Chico is my sky in Anderson, South Carolina. But what is that? Uh, could it be some sort of a rocket launch from Vandenberg or something else. Well, I think it's something else because today I had a subscriber send me some pictures. You see this glowing plume and this bizarre cloud. Unfortunately, the picture itself is not very clear. I um, I increased the size, but clearly this is very similar to what was spotted in Chico. Don't know what it is, but this subscriber, I haven't uh, received a response yet asking where she lives. She wrote and said she was glad to find somebody, me meaning me, near where she lives. So this could have been South Carolina, maybe Georgia, I don't know. Um, but not on the West Coast, but the East Coast. So it wasn't a rocket launch from Vandenberg. What could this be? I responded to an email today saying, be prepared to see what you cannot imagine right now. Be prepared to see in our sky the unimaginable. Because everything that we have been seeing in the recent years, it was unimaginable a while ago. And this is not stopping. Um, the, the insanity, the craziness, the horror, the uh, freak show every single day. It's only going to get worse. But if you all want to take a guess at what this thing could be, and I'm, you know, even the cloud, uh, clearly, um, an artificial cloud carved out with frequencies. But this glowing worm in the sky, this glowing warm worm in the sky, what could it be? Uh, let let me hear from you guys. Leave a comment. I hope you're all doing well. I The cumulative effects of everything that has been going on, these assaults, the toxins, our environment becoming an environment where it just does not sustain our health or the health of the planet, you know, life itself. And I have been hearing the cumulative effects. I've been feeling them myself. I'm not okay. Um, but hearing them as well. Those that I speak to here in this apartment complex, they're sinus infections 
And I did a video weeks ago saying that three neighbors came down with sinus infections the exact same day. Two of them cannot get rid of it. They still have sinus infections. And one even did a round of antibiotics. Still, sinus infections. But I have been experiencing increasing dizziness and, well, the buzzing. It's really kind of been off the charts and very irritating and distracting. There's a whole lot more, but um, I'd really like to hear from you guys how you are doing. Are you experiencing the cumulative effects of these toxic assaults? Having heard from subscribers all over the country, there's really one, only one, that is okay. All the others are really struggling, not only physically, but emotionally, mentally. And many have also been diagnosed recently with more serious medical issues. This is our world now. This is life now. You can call me anything you want. You can claim that I'm negative. You can, I don't care. But this is life. It's not stopping. And brace yourself for more and more going down. That is the reality that we are living. I wish it wasn't the case, but it is, and it's heartbreaking. Yeah, you know, even the cats around here. And to those who have been asking about the cats, I will post a video. Um, the cats are, are good. They're, they're far better than I am. But even the, the feral cats that are still somewhat feral around here, all of them are sneezing. They are sneezing. Or they have gook coming out of their eyes. Two more. Two more cats have been left behind. Someone left two cats behind. So we have more cats. It's really unfortunate that the human race on the whole is I'm hearing Mark Passio in a video that was passed along to me. He saying that the human race on the whole, not everyone, but it's really just trash. And unfortunately, I live around it. A neighbor got rid of her dog. I asked where the dog was. I don't know. My boyfriend took it. Where did your boyfriend take it? I don't know. I asked the boyfriend. He doesn't know. But you took it. Oh, well, then it's at my brother's. Oh, really? At your brother's. I, I think that he just threw the dog out of the car somewhere. This dog was rescued it was an older dog. It was 12 years old. It was cute as cute can be, but it had been abused, traumatized. 
and then re-traumatized when the boyfriend decided to just get rid of the dog. Yeah, it's hard to take. With everything else going on, and then you live amongst people who really show you that they care about nothing. Well, when you care, it hurts. And there's no escaping that. And I'm saying that because I know that a lot of you do. I read your comments and I know that a lot of you are really now struggling with everything that has taken place and not only the human suffering but the suffering of all life and there's the suffering that is so needless and it comes from people not caring about their animals needless and it just seems to be ongoing here I don't get it I don't get that mentality I really have a hard time with it and then we all have our personal issues that also uh, we have to contend with and you know some people have issues where they just don't care and they don't feel anything and and then some people feel a lot and then when you see that cats when somebody moves out and they leave their cat behind purposefully because they don't care what happens to it and then you hear that this dog goes missing and nobody will tell you where the dog is but the circumstances surrounding the missing dog domestic violence when I see so many people not care about their animals then I have my personal issues you know the unwanted thrown away essentially the trash that my family threw away I don't believe that but I feel it yeah it really I have a really hard time I have a really hard time bringing animals to the shelter I have a really hard time um, letting these cats go you know we all have stuff going on personally and collectively and when the burden gets really heavy boy for those of you who have to carry it alone I really know <laughs> how hard that is and I wish that things weren't this way but they are and it just becomes life becomes like a marathon an endless marathon of just getting through yeah but then when you see all of this crazy stuff happening and and you know the implications of all of this crazy stuff they're not good today in a store I see the headline of a local newspaper South Carolina climate change and the one thing I thought I could find it on the internet I can't um, but the one <laughs> Thing that I noticed in the headline was 
how climate change was going to be bringing about these bugs that will infest trees and kill them. Really, all the trees here are really sick and dying. So now people will look at the trees and maybe they'll acknowledge, they'll, they'll see, oh wow, look at all that disease on every tree. I, uh, wow, look at all of this. My God, it's climate change. God, I'm so sick of the lies. I can't tell you how sick of the lies I am. It, it's absolutely getting harder to handle. Yeah, it's definitely getting harder to handle. I'll link below to this. It's just the picture in this bit here. I really hope that you guys are okay. Have a good night.